All right, guys, grab yourself a kettlebell. Let's smash those calves. We're going to Transformational Thursday for today. Miss Gail, were you around when I was doing Motivational Thursday? Yeah, well, it's, yeah, it's now trans it's Transformational Thursday now. When you're looking for motivation, it's very um, outside of me driven, right? I have the carrot. I need to get the carrot. Whereas when you uh, are transforming yourself, again, the obstacle exposes something within yourself that says, what is this trying to make me com become? What am I supposed to uh, let go of and create space for? And I think that's kind of like what the, the message a little bit is today is a lot of the times in our life, we're waiting for something to happen, right? And oftentimes it's not necessarily like up to us to do something, but it's actually up to us to let go of some belief or let go of um, you know, baggage in order for us to create the space that we need in order for the things that we want to come into our life. So obviously if, if you want the job of your dreams and you're at another job, what do you have to do to that other job? You actually have to let go of it and make the leap. And a lot of the time you won't actually know what happens until you actually quit the job. Because guess what changes when you're actually not in that job anymore, your mindset. Your mindset changes and all of a sudden you go from I'm comfortable here to uh oh, now I have to create something. And that scares the crap out of some people which kind of keeps them in their situations that they are. Um, I've used this analogy before but like you see people on a railroad track and they're sitting in their car and the train is like a half mile down the track and they sit there and they're just like, I can't get out of my car because they've, they've created this illusion that in my car is safe and they don't realize the train's coming right at them and all they need to do is just get out of their car and leave those old circumstances in order for them not to get T-boned. But most people go to this fight or flight response and their, their instinct tells them stay in my car because my car is safe. So a lot of the times we create our own car by creating these ideas and illusions of safety. I have a steady job, I'm good to go. I have a 401k, my life's complete. I've got 10,000 in my savings. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like everybody's like looking like, and again, I, there's a reason why I don't save, like save money. And Laura's like, yeah, I realize that. Um, there's a real reason I don't really save money because Realistically, something always happens where that you got to use that anyway. It's your rainy day fund. Well, like you're just <laughs> think about that for a rainy for a rainy day. Yes, it rains a lot around here. Number one, but like you're just waiting for something bad to happen. Like that. Like that was the connotation of a rainy day, right? When shit hits the fan, at least I have something to fall back on. Well, how about this mindset? How about like I'm willing to create right now with what I have. Instead of waiting for something bad to happen to me, I'm gonna take what I have and I'm gonna be resourceful with what I have and I'm gonna be proactive. I just went to a course this last weekend, fantastic, great things and instantaneously as I did this course, I'm like, I can't wait to come back and create all these programs and I can't wait to offer services and that little investment on the front end, I'm like, I am gonna be paying back tenfold on my initial investment. Now if I took all that money and said, okay, I'm gonna stick it underneath my mattress, because I'm afraid something bad might happen in my life, just in case my car breaks down one day, like what am I actually calling for? What am I waiting for the universe to give me? A reason to, a reason to make my beliefs come to life. Like a reason for me to believe that way, right? You have all these people who are like, you know, you, I, you know, what if something bad happens? Like I live my life you know, very safe and I wanna make sure that if something bad happens, I'm taken care of. What are you calling for the universe to give you? Affirmation that bad stuff is supposed to happen to you. Now, if you're in that mindset of like, I'm in abundance and I can create and I can create my own destiny, guess what the, the, the universe is gonna give you? It might actually give you the same thing. It might give you the same exact thing, but because your mindset is different, you might actually create something from that instead of seeing it as a deficit and seeing, oh, see, I was right. Another obstacle, life sucks. No, like that is exactly the mindset you don't want to have. Like, and I give you a cool example. I read this today. I don't know, you can take whatever you want from it. So there was this dude, he was in Australia and he gets hit by a car and he's dead for 14 minutes. Clinically dead for 14 minutes. He gets up, or he obviously gets up, 
but they, they bring him back to life and they're like, well, this guy's probably gonna be a vegetable because he's, you know, his brain was out without oxygen for like 14 minutes. Turns out the guy is fine, absolutely fine. And it's a miracle. And the guy goes, you know what? Like, this, there's a reason for me being alive right now. And he goes and gets a scratch off ticket. Scratches it off, wins a $27,000 car. It's like the most unbelievable thing that happens, right? He's on the local news. It's like, you know, he, he felt in himself like, you know what? I, I, maybe I'm here for a purpose. And again, I, I always go back to having a purpose. So the local news crew interviews him. And they're like, listen, we want like some B-roll footage. And we, we want you to go into the store and kind of like scratch it off just like you did. So he buys a scratch off. They have him on, on camera doing this. He, he goes to the same teller, gives him the money. He goes to like the little like that little half cut table with all like the pencils and stuff. He starts scratching it off. And sure enough, he scratches off a $250,000 ticket. And he goes, oh my God, I just won two hundred. And he like starts crying. And he bawls and he calls his wife. He's like, we can put money down on the house. Like I know we're not all looking for lottery tickets in life. But if the universe gives you a message to start like going in a certain direction and you're not doing it, most of the time it's out of fear. Out of fear of what you're going to lose. But remember, you can only see what you're going to lose. You can never see what you could possibly get. And if you're brave for just that one moment, one moment is all you need. Just brave, not brave for, forever, just brave for that one moment to, to make that leap, I guarantee you're going to see gold on the other side. Transformational Thursday for today.